here in Los Angeles. This is such a huge event, I think we need some help. Hey, you're Chris, welcome. Hey, DJ, thanks for having me. Mate, you're a huge Star Wars fan, franchise creator of the Red Star, and you've actually drawn on Star Wars comics. Five different series, in fact, over six years with Dark Horse. Buddy, this is huge, let's go. Oh, I can't wait. I had one line in episode two, I said hello. Let's do it to camera and do it in, <laughs> in character. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, sweet. Hey, I'm here with Richard and family, and we're asking them what they love about Star Wars. Richard? Uh, I love the action. Characters. Fighting. Action. You have it. Oh, baby, that's Ken the Elvis Trooper coming at you. My character, my character's Ula. I play the green alien Twilight dancer who danced for Jabba Hart. And then... Very sexy. Oh, well, I'm glad it came across that way. <laughs> the boyfriend would like that look. Oh, the husband, oh yeah, well, I'm not going to dress up like that for him. He can take me like this. <laughs> of all the very talented Star Wars artists here at Celebration, I'm here with Jake, the guy who got to do the art for the badges. Do you think that's humorous, Steve? Uh, it's, it's very, it's a great whimsy and fun energy to it. See, I see, I look at it, and I think they look really realistic. That's just how I see the world. Do you know what I mean? I didn't, everyone goes, really cute, I'm going to put it in the nursery. And I'm like, oh, okay. So. It's just gritty to you. That's yeah. gritty as. I'm here with one of my favourite characters from Star Wars, Watto. He's such a, well, we say a dag in Australia, but <laughs> such a hard case. Isn't that rude? Isn't a dag a rude word? Yeah, it depends what country you're from. Oh, but dag's okay. a good guy, good fun person, you know, oh, a hard oh, case. So. Okay, yeah, he's fun. They also asked me to audition for uh, Jar Jar Binks. You'll be glad you got out of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's great to see you. And you were in you episode too. two and three. I was. Tell us about the characters you played. Um, in episode two, I played Ton Wee, who's the main Camino alien, the very sexy alien with a very sexy walk and a long, long neck. I had fans come up to me and go, I hope you don't think I'm weird, but it's the first time I've ever wanted to have sex with an alien. I said, well, that's the ultimate compliment. It really is. Richard, it's great to see you. Now, how would fans best remember you? As the only Imperial officer who ever stood up to Darth Vader. And what sort of result did you get out of that? I was force choked. Now, also, uh, you actually survived. You didn't yes. actually die from that, so... No, I didn't. I, I did survive, only to be horribly killed by that kid in the X-Wing who got that lucky shot in with the photon torpedo up the old uh, back side of the ventilator shaft. <laughs> I don't know how we missed that one, but, you know, <laughs> there was a big inquiry later on, I hope. I remember going home after meeting the casting people for Star Wars and the phone rang. Sweet. And I answered, hello, Tim Werner Morrison. Yes, we'd like you to play at Star Wars casting. He would like you to play Django Fett. And I went, yes, I got a job. I'm Sweet. in Star Wars. You've made it. And then in the same breath, I went, who the hell's Django Fett? <laughs> hey, with the clone army, do you think that before each battle, they may do the haka? That's right. That's a good idea. And then we wouldn't even have to fight the fight. All, all, all the Jedis would run away just after seeing the haka. The celebration continues here at the Los Angeles Convention Center. It's getting mad and I'm here with Padme. Hey, nice to be here. That's a wonderful costume. Thank you. Make it yourself? Yes, I got the bodysuit from a dance place, but then I made the cape and all the furry stuff. Fantastic. Thank you. What's your favorite line from 3PO? Can you still do it in character? Oh yeah, I, I can be in character. I mean, he, I can still do, hello, I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. But actually, my favorite line is, we're doomed. Do you actually get to keep one of these suits yourself? No, come on. What would you think if you walked in some guy's house and you had one of these in the hall? Mate, I think I've been in a few homes that have got those. Yeah, but only in Wana Wonga or something like that, so <laughs> it's, you know. We're at Star Wars Celebration with Sam Whitwer, who's going to be one of the next biggest stars in the Star Wars universe. Are you pretty excited about that, buddy? I like that. I like that. Biggest stars in the Star Wars universe? I'll take it. Yes, I'm very excited about that. How am I preparing? Well, the only preparation I've done is just clear off a little shelf space for my action figures. <laughs> so that's straight from the horse's mouth. There will be some action figures. I'm fired. <laughs> I'm fired. Oh, look at this little buddy. You're dressed up as a clone trooper. What's your name? Trevor. That's a nice suit. Where did you get that from? The post office. The post office. Oh, I got delivered in the mail. That's great. What sort of uh, thing has been your highlight of this entire five-day convention? Um, the grand picture of the 501st Legion, um, the special PR with the rocket man flying just outside of the south wing here. 
uh, meeting and exploring all the wonderful people that make up Los Angeles. Is your favorite Boba Fett as well? Oh no, Slave Girl Princess Leia. Can you go wrong with that? <laughs> no. One day you'll be into Slave Girl Leia too, I'm sure. <laughs> what are you loving about it the most? Everybody dressing up and being really friendly.